let me just show you how to move the styles from an internal to an external style sheet and reapply them. And let's do that with this one, even though I think I've messed it up a little. Um, I'm going to clean up this page a little before I put it in the project file. So if you get it and it looks slightly different, I'll leave a little note at the top about what I did to make it look the way it is. And you should benefit from that. OK. Um, we have an internal style sheet that's controlling the styles in this. They're contained in this open style and closed style tag. right? We've decided now we want to use these same styles on another page. What do we do? We want to copy them from here into a CSS file and then link that file back. So we're going to create a new CSS file, create. Now, Dreamweaver is creating a CSS file. This is what Dreamweaver puts at the top. This is pretty standard, basic um, top of a CSS file, much like the doc type needs to go at the top of the HTML file to tell the browser what it is. This tells the browser this is a CSS file. If you're working in WordPress, there's a much longer, more complicated um, comment that goes at the top of CSS files that have to do with identifying the theme they go with and all that. When you create child themes, all of that becomes very important. So if I do a save as styles.css and I save that into my scuba site, I'm going to make this styles2 so I don't override the one that's already there, styles2.css, then I can copy all of the styles. And remember, you don't want the style tag itself. You just want all of the styles inside it. X. You can leave this here in case you want more internal styles later, or you can delete it to clean it up. If you're not going to do more internal styles, I would delete it and clean it up. If you think you might, it's not a problem to leave it. It's just a couple lines of text. And now I'm going to paste these over here into the CSS file. I didn't ever end up defining that, so we don't need it. Just a couple of styles that we ended up creating for this page. They're now in a CSS file. In Dreamweaver, you can move those tabs around so you have different pages. We're not even using that, so let's not save that. So here's my Roatan page. I've taken the styles out. And whoops. OK, I thought I took the styles out. Let's try that again. Let me X them all out. And do I missed a period? X them all out. Let me get them all this time. Thank you. X. Go back into styles. Paste. Save. OK. I've taken them out, so they disappear. So when you remove styles from the page, of course, all the style information goes away. It's all gone. We don't see it anymore. Now we want to link this to the page. And you can do this with the at import, or you can do this with a link. And in practice, in this particular case, we'd have about the same result. In general, link is preferred, and you should just use link unless you know you need something else. But the at import option for connecting a style sheet to an HTML page has some advanced uses. Um, one of them is when you're working with fonts, as we will tomorrow. And the other one is when you have lots and lots of external style sheets, sometimes importing several of them into one style sheet and attaching that as an advantage. 